frustrated and fed up, several small businesses in Seattle's Chinatown International District are calling out city leaders. They want something done right now about out-of-control crime in hot spots like 12th and Jackson. Como Suzanne Fawn took their concerns directly to Mayor Bruce Harrell. My customers don't feel safe. Um, I don't feel safe. These days, Danvi Pham worries about safety. She owns Fallback Soup Shop in Seattle's Little Saigon neighborhood. It's just a block away from the corner of 12th and Jackson, a notorious spot known for illegal activity, including drugs, stolen merchandise, and shootings. The black market on 12th and Jackson is, is, is expanding and growing every day. Pham shared this video of a threatening man in front of her business on Monday. He had a, a really long knife, kind of machete-like, and he was abusing the reflection of the window to scratch himself. Furious and frustrated, she blasted the city and the mayor on Instagram. We shouldn't have to spend so much time and energy trying to defend ourselves, you know, and try to and to feel safe. Yen V. Pham in Chinatown International, Little Saigon, is really concerned about what's happening at 12th and Jackson. We took her criticisms and questions directly to Mayor Bruce Harrell today. Why the city is allowing this to continue and what is your plan to stop it? She should be frustrated. There's not a simple button to push to make sure all of the illicit activity could be gone. However, what we're looking at are sustainable solutions. And so she will see here in a matter of weeks not only the plan but an implementation of the plan. Meanwhile, the owner of Oasis T-Zone says the city and city leaders are all talk and no action right now. There's no improvements. You know, and there's going to be endless meetings, but what metrics are they going to consider? He's so frustrated, he hired a bouncer, a doorman for his bubble tea shop for Friday and Saturday nights to keep his customers and staff safe. People are actually getting shot. People are actually getting killed and assaulted in the streets. How much longer can you wait for progress? In Seattle, Suzanne Vaughn, Como News. Mayor Harrell says he'll lay out a specific plan next Tuesday.